Hi guys, in this video we will create our first mail merge tool. As mentioned in the previous video, a mail merge tool consists of two documents, the letter and the table. The letter, this is it, is the word document containing all the text. Our table in this case is an Excel sheet called contacts and in it our our table is the sheet gathering right so in our uh, in our letter the only thing that varies from letter to letter are the recipient and the friend of that recipient so thus our uh, table has got two columns or two fields one are all the various recipients gonna that, that, that are gonna go receive that invitation and their respective friends so let's get started with creating our our first mail merge tool well the first step is you go to the mailings tab and you you you, you go to start mail merge and in it are only actually two interesting options either letter or directory we start with letter in another video I will then explain the difference between directory and letters so let's get started with letters and the next step is we're gonna select our recipients now we have an existing list which is that Excel file so I don't need to create a, or type a new list I use an existing list and now I've got to go to my folder and find uh, to that folder where, where that uh, Excel file is and double click that. We're here gathering invites and there's, there's our Excel file contacts. And when I double click that, I get an option to choose which of the sheets I want to use from that file. And I wish to sh use the sheet gatherings or gathering right now next step is we got to replace that Ann and Joe with a merge field because if I if I just leave it like that that's just gonna spread the same letter all over it with Ann and Joe and that's it nothing changes so we need to change everything what varies from letter to letter has cannot be normal text but has to be a merge field so and we got here insert merge field so the field that replaces Anne would be a recipient and the field that replaces Joe would be a friend and by the way to select a word just in to select one word in word just double click that word and it's selected and then I go here and, and select friend and sometimes that space gets uh, overridden so we just add it later on there we go now actually our mail merge tool is now done if I want to preview the individual letters and the data in those uh, fields I go here to preview results and we can see our first letter and with those arrows I can now look at a uh, look at the next letter which is Ralph and Maria third letter Cindy and Mike Lisa Adam and so on so I can navigate with those arrows that takes me to the first data set to the last data set and previous and next okay you can see this is now you can actually see each individual letter and we got like seven letters because we have seven data sets each row is called a data set and each row is basically a letter on its own whereas each column is a is a field consisting of a specific type of data as I mentioned in the last video and each row is a data set so now we come to the final step which is basically producing or generating those individual letters and like I said in the last video you've got two options to do that one is sending directly to the printer or printing it and and the other one is to uh, uh, create a specific document so both uh, options can be reached 
uh, over this button or via this button, uh, button uh, finish and merge. And you, when you click here on the arrow, you have two options that interest us edit individual documents or print documents. Let's start with print documents. That means that those individual letters would be, if I, if I click on that, I can now decide which data set or which record, which records should be printed or only the current one, i.e. this one, Jack and Gina, or from, let's say, record number three to record number seven, which is our last one. Let's take all. Now, if I go off OK, that means Word will now print seven pages, each page containing an individual letter. Okay, now I'm not going to do that because I don't fancy printing seven pages. But that's basically the effect. The next option or the other option is edit, it's called edit individual documents. Basically a weird name, but basically it means that we are now going to generate a Word document consisting of seven pages, each page containing an individual letter. Let's try it out. Edit individual documents. Let's go all. And now we go. We got we just created a new document called letters one. It consists of seven pages and each page one individual letter. So that's the first letter and and Joe. There's the page. It's now over. Now we come to the second page. Now the second letter. Ralph and Maria. Next page, Cindy and Mike. Next page, Lisa and Adam, and so on. So you see the difference is... Let's, let's shut that down. I'm going to quit that. Don't save. I don't need to save that because I can easily generate it again by just by pressing a button. So don't save. So this one here, this option, prints those seven pages. This option here produces a Word document containing those seven pages. In my opinion, this option is has got some advantages versus sending the, the, the Word documents to the printer because here you can first of all check out if everything is okay. And second of all, you can put in a specific letter, you can edit specific letters. Let's say here, Cindy and Mike, um, now you can bring your dog with you. So that's only relevant to these two guys because they got a dog, the other people haven't got a dog. So I can write in their letter this added text. Now if I would send those letters directly to the printer, I cannot do that. So that's that's one uh, advantage of, 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 of having a document, of, of generating a document with all those letters. Another advantage is obviously I can go through each letter and see if everything's okay. Uh, and, and, and check it all out before I uh, print that. Print that Now, if I print that document, I will get seven pages, each page containing individual do uh, documents. So, so basically, the end result is basically the same. But I got here the luxury of checking the documents first, each, each letter basically, and editing specific individual letters if I need to do that. Okay? And once I'm done, let's say I print that stuff out, I can easily quit that, don't save, because like I said, like I said in a previous video, this is the merge tool or the main merge tool. And with it, I can easily generate the individual letters either by printing them out or by generating a new document where all those individual letters are in.